Hiya folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this will just be a quick little video. Someone was watching one of my uh, videos online the other day and uh, they asked a question about how I use the targeting pod in the F-18 to target um, for handoff to Mavericks, uh, AGM-65, uh, in this case, Foxtrots. Um, and so rather than trying and explain it, uh, although I did do a little bit of kind of typing it out, what I thought I'd do is actually just create a video um, uh, and uh, just create a kind of custom mission uh, in which I show it. So uh, I'm in the Persian Gulf, I'll show you the mission planner. I'm in the Persian Gulf, very simple little mission. We've got four BTRs at Bandar Abbas. I'm in the 18 here. Um, and so with a loadout of uh, the lightning, lightning pod, the AAQ-28, and then four Mavericks, uh, in this case, the F, the Foxtrot variant. Uh, so um, I'll get started, jump in the jet and see if we can't figure out how to do this. Hopefully, I've never, I always take off cold and dark, so I don't even know if the targeting pod's um, powered on, so we'll have to check that out. There we go, we're in. Unpause track IR. Ah, that FLIR pod is powered on, so that's good. There it is, so we'll target with the FLIR. Oh, my thing is gone. Right, I'm gonna get rid of the map. Um, Mavs, I don't know if they're spun up or not. Let's find out. Waypoint designates. So waypoint one should, oh, that's waypoint zero. Let's go to waypoint one. There we go. So let's see what we can see here. Hmm. What is Bandar? There it is. Ah, not quite sure why that happened, but let's have a look here. Let's get the waypoint up in the hood. Yeah, it's over there. All right, let's bring it down the left side of the jet. Sorry for the noise. I've got my uh, browser open up in another window. I'm just going to kill that. There we go. And get rid of those as well. Right, so we've got. Uh, I didn't ground stabilize. Where, where'd you go, Bandar Abbas? Alright, let's waypoint designate again. There we go. There we go. I'm just gonna set the autopilot. Why is there no sound? Oh, there is sound. Okay, right, so we zoom in, see if we can find some targets. There they are. So, with the targeting pod, I find the target. I'm going to go to a, a narrow field of view. There's the BTR. So I'm just going to go, uh, in this case, DMS right. There's an area track. DMS right one more time will put me in a point track. And then what you have to do is you have to designate the target. So he's in point track now. I'm just gonna go over here and get the IMAP display up just to make sure, yep, the Mavericks are looking good. I'm gonna go to a narrow field of view. So you have to designate. So I use the um, designate button on the on my HOTAS. You can see now it's put a little um, kind of crosshair in between the two um, parallel um, vertical lines. That means that it's now, the targeting pod has designated, designated that target and other weapons, JDAMs, Mavericks, now have that target as a as a designated target. So handoff should work. So if I go left DDI now and ooh, go to air to ground, you can see the Maverick has already slaved and it should lock up. You can see it's there locked up. I don't know why I have, oh, come on. There it is, rifle. And then I'm off. I don't know why I've got labels on. I think it's like Shift F10 to turn them off. Yeah, there we go. We zoom in. Should be a hit. There it is. Shack, BTR destroyed. Yeah, I've lost the FLIR on this one. 
But you can see, even if the FLIR is not, oh, there it is, even if the FLIR is not active in the DDI, in the right DDI, I tend to use the right one, um, once you've handed off that target, it's handed off to that station, and to, in fact, to all stations. So um, at that point, the, the, I guess if it was the F10 or the A10, you'd call it the sensor point of interest. Once you designate that target using the targeting pod, all other weapons uh, should try and slave to that target. So then I just go back into a ground stabilized mode on the um, the targeting pod using DMS right. Let's look for another target. Of course, we've got the sun glare in our back in our uh, in the back, making it difficult to spot targets just because of the glare. Let's try zooming out a little bit. And we can even turn on the CCD. Okay, like you can see there, there's a target. There's another BTR. So we'll go to point track, designate. All right, let's roll in. There it is. If I go left DDI, now if it doesn't automatically slew to it, just hit the cage uncage button and it should automatically drop down. You can see the Mavs now got a firing solution and I'm in range. So rifle, I'm going to pull off here to the south. There we go. Trimming the aircraft, always trimming the aircraft when I'm expending stores. I'm going to go back to the right DDI, just zoom out a little bit. Come on, Maverick, do your thing. Boom! Shaq, good hit. Right, so we can go to an area, uh, sorry, to a ground stabilized mode again, just using DMS right. Zoom back in. DMS right to area, DMS right to point track, mask the targeting pod. <laughs> I thought we would have a chance to kind of get them locked up there, but that's all right. Just bring them around. And this is when I use this little kind of indicator of where the targeting pod is pointed in relation to the aircraft, uh, because it's when it's just off the, le on, off the left wing, it's fine, but I know that it'll start masking soon. So I'm going to designate now. I'm going to look at the left EDI. I'm going to change the field of view. We're quite close. That's all right. I think the Maverick will have time to lock up. I'm going to roll over. I'm going to go to the left EDI. I can see the Maverick Seeker is already looking for it. So watch this. It takes a couple seconds for the Maverick Seeker to slave to it and lock it up. You can see in the left EDI that the Maverick Seeker's got it. So I'm going to go rifle. I'm going to pull off here to the northeast. Now, for some reason, the targeting pod has lost uh, its target, but again, not to worry because we've handed off. So I'm just going to, oh, there it is. Yeah, like I said, when you designate, it's fine because that's the position that's been handed off. And what you're basically doing is you're handing off a position the, t the Maverick Seeker is slewing to that position. There it is, Shaq. The Maverick Seeker is slewing to that position and then looking for something contrasting. And then when it finds that something contrasting, locks it up. Now, the good, the good news is that's great when there's no, and it's not like a really dense environment. One thing that you can do, though, is even with the um, targeting pod, you know, slaved perfectly onto uh, a target, if you've got, a, a, you know, two targets close by, uh, one's a high value target, the other's not, um, even if it's like civilian traffic, the Maverick can lock onto that traffic rather than rather than um, the target that you want to hit. So that's one of the kind of shortcomings of this method. Um, the times that that happens are pretty few and far between. It does happen to me every now and then. In fact, it happened to me on a multiplayer mission the other night. There's that last BTR. Let's, let's take him out for good measure, shall we? So area track, point track, designate. Left DDI, going to change the field of view. We're going to do a climbing turn off to the left now. 
where is it visual reference there it is so just rolling nose onto the target you can see that the Maverick Seeker hasn't moved it's slaved it's kind of snow plowed to the front so just checking left EDI is there we're gonna uncage the Maverick it's locked on it's got a good firing solution rifle and we're gonna pull off here to the west and we're gonna watch the fireworks in fact, let's go visual on this one, just because the sun glare is making it a little bit difficult. Shack, good hit. All right, and that is how I use the targeting pod to designate targets for Maverick. I hope you found it useful. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you need any further explanation. Otherwise, have a great day.